Here we are. Let's have a look at this game. This game, my opponent played really well. Okay, so I've done this one. So let's have a look at this game. I've got my cup of coffee here. This is my first cup of coffee. I only play one game of chess and one game of chess only. This is this game. I hope you enjoy this game. So I'm going to start the... Uh, I'm going to go a bit slow because I'm going to make this into a wee bit of a long. <laughs> That's quite slow. So anyway, here we are. I'm playing E5. So this is a three minute game and you can see down the bottom and at the top of your right part of the screen of the chessboard, the times. So this started with three minute chess. I was going to make this into a short, but I'm going to make this into a short long. Hope you like it. I've got my cup of coffee. I'll be quiet somewhere. I want to show you a wonderful move in time scramble. <laughs> Not all moves played on the chessboard are brilliant, but most of them that we play, aren't they, are brilliant, but sometimes they're not. But sometimes our opponent misses or missed or do miss our blunders. Blunder, as Judge Rinda would say. Blunder. So there's a blunder. With, uh, I'll tell you what it is, it's coming up with rook g6 later on. My opponent can just take my rook for nothing. So in chess, it's very important. Do not take your move back. Try to not take your move back. Try to stick with what you've played. There are way better ways for me to play this game than I did as black. But my opponent did play very, very well, I think. Especially in times, especially in time trouble. Because I get in time trouble here, and but my opponent gets in a little bit of time trouble as well. So anything could happen. The cell phone of mine here could ring. Okay, my cell phone could ring. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. So if it does, tough luck. <laughs> so here we got, I don't know, I don't know anything about this, but I watched lots, I did study lots of Morphe games in my time when I was a, a junior and a slightly what I'll call adult. But, um, when we make a move on the chessboard, like I could take the rook on f1 after queen d2. When we make a move on the chessboard, we should stick to it, even if it's no good. So I actually, um, this is the only game I played, and I quite enjoyed it. e4 does look quite good. Looks like the bishop's got nowhere to go, but it has. Actually, I quite like this, um, doing it this way. I can't take the bishop even if I could because of queen d3. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm, I play pretty basically really here with, uh, I don't, yeah, bishop e4 threatening queen g2 checkmate. So it's a wee bit basic, but my opponent soon gets tired of this bishop on e4 of mine. Um... I'll just see my uh, school reports, not my school reports, but my grades of how I went in school. Wasn't perfect, didn't like school, probably still don't like school, um, but anyway, H4, H4, Bishop, oh, now we're coming up to close what, uh, not yet, but now I threaten the bishop, of course. So now my queen's attacked. Oh no, my queen. 
So can I go anywhere? Queen d5. Could have gone queen e2. That would be a move I'd play now, right now. Da, da, da. D3. I could. Here's my move. Look, bishop g6. Woohoo! And white would be loving it. Just like McDonald's loving it, or whatever they say. So, you know, everyone knows by now that I'm a Christian, and the reason I'm a Christian is because I'm not great. That's why I'm a Christian, because I'm really not the best person on this planet. And I realize that. I could have played Rook E4. And then if F E4, Queen D1 check, and it's all over after that. So I'm going to stop this uh, video soon. And so I made it into a, a long short instead of a short a short. So now I'm starting to just play moves because I was behind in time, aren't I? Yeah, I'm a little bit behind in time. But now I'll just start going into operandum of let's just play moves to get somewhere. Still be a wee bit sensible, but whatever that means for David. But um, I'm just kind of splattering out some moves, like C5. And uh, the beauty with um, taking the D3 pawn with the bishop is that uh, the bishop is pinned after that for the rook on D1. So it's hard to wriggle around or white after catch it with the bishop. So in this case, I just now set about moving my king up the board like Magnus Carlsen. And what's the final position? And we will see it soon and then I will leave you with it and I hope your chess is going really well. And always remember the five respects that I say because one of the things I said in this game is I hope you have a good game to my opponent uh, even though my opponent can't hear me and that sort of thing. So the five respects are the five respects are David uh, oh sorry the five respects are Respect your opponent, David. Respect your opponent's pawns and pieces. Respect yourself. Respect your pawns and pieces and your own pawns and pieces for yourself. And five, respect the game of chess. And that will help you a lot. And that is where my opponent's time bow after rook e5 from black. I hope you enjoyed this session. All the best with your chess, no matter where it's at. And primarily, try to enjoy the game of chess. That's all I can do for you today. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm off on to the...